Adrian College Television would like to give a big thank you to our sponsor, Carlton Lodge of Adrian. Carlton Lodge is sponsoring all ACTV broadcasts during the 2021 to 2022 school year. Located at 1629 West Maumee and Adrian, Carlton Lodge offers comfortable rooms and suites at affordable rates. There's also a heated indoor and outdoor pool along with a 24-hour fitness center. Thank you for the continued support toward Adrian College Television. Adrian College has once again found itself on the 2022 U.S. News & World Report Best College Rankings. This is the eighth straight year that Adrian has been named to the top regional college's Midwest section. Adrian College was also named the most innovative school in the regional college's Midwest category. In addition, Adrian received accolades and best value in undergraduate teaching within regional college's Midwest. Adrian College was also named in the top first year experiences by U.S. News & World Report. This marks the 13th consecutive year that Adrian has appeared in U.S. News & World Report. To see the full rankings, visit their website. For more information on Adrian College, visit adrian.edu. I'm Dejan Hughes and I'm a senior in the class of 2021. My name is Megan Abbey. I'm from the class of 2021. Hi, my name is Caitlin Parisi and I'm the class of 2021. Wow, um, as far as working for ACTV, the first thing that comes to mind is honestly the community. Like the people that I work with are amazing, all the way down from Jay at the top to the last guy that only gets to work one stream a week. It's just the energy that is around is always awesome. It's a perk that you get free access to the games, um, but I absolutely love it. We have a great culture here, and then I was able to work my way up to a student director position, but I get so much creative freedom. I get to work in arenas and sports and environments that I absolutely love and enjoy. ACTV has brought so many experiences and memories that I'll take with me to grad school and even beyond. Um, it's been such a blessing to be a part of the team and everyone's just so welcoming and I've learned so much directing and using the camera and many other things. If you do want to get into this stuff, I say do it and do it quickly with ACTV because not only is it a great community, but you'll also learn a lot and be prepared for the future. I think what I'm going to miss most about ACTV that's not the um, free software that I get as a student um, would definitely be the people and the culture that we have here. Um, just the connections that I've made, the students that we have, um, just the family that we have here, I'm definitely going to miss everyone a lot. I'm going to miss everyone, I think. Um, everyone's just been so great. I love the atmosphere. Um, it's definitely another family away from home. Um, I think directing is going to be something I miss, uh, but just interacting with everyone during our meetings um, on Tuesdays and uh, just the atmosphere, I think, is going to be the biggest thing. DJ, Megan, Caitlin, I know I told you this is going to be a promo about ACTV. Well, it's actually a promo about you guys. Your leadership as seniors has helped me guide the program since taking over at the beginning of January. I would not have been able to do it without you three. Now, I know your time is done with ACTV at the end of the semester, but I know you're going to do so many great things in your future endeavors. I wish you the best of luck. The Adrian College Media Production House provides opportunities for students to learn and grow live on the airwaves, just like Matt Kibbe. I've gotten a chance to create a relationship with coaches and teams and learn more from people instead of trying to teach myself something. I've gotten an opportunity to expand my knowledge of sports, hone in on my skills as a broadcaster, and learn about equipment in different ways. You get, a, you get more of a connection with professors as well. Providing opportunities, growing leadership. The Adrian College Media Production House. Thanks for tuning in. Adrian College is looking for leaders, student athletes with the tenacity to keep the Bulldogs at the top, the forefront, in and out of the classroom. The Bulldogs are looking for talent, character, hard work, grit, leaders who can electrify sold out crowds, got out a last line shift, will their team to victory, hit a grand slam in the bottom of the ninth and be a part of a legend in the making. Think you have what it takes to become a Bulldog? Visit adrian.edu to learn more.
What if you didn't choose to become an Adrian College Bulldog? Surely you would have carried on with your education and could potentially be graduating elsewhere. But what would you have the honor of greeting Bruiser on campus? Would you have had the privilege of working alongside faculty that know your name? Would you have had the opportunity to learn and grow in an environment that is seeking the truth and dignity in all people? Would you have had a creative learning environment that is supportive of challenging you and achieving excellence in your academics, but also your personal and professional lives? This has been Adrian College's promise to us. Just as our families have promised to love us unconditionally and support us through the many peaks and valleys of our lives, Adrian offered a similar promise to us when they realized our potential by asking us to join them. While we have been busy navigating the many what ifs of our time, none of which we could have imagined, we have indeed found the cane that holds our ribbons of excellence at Adrian to stand strong. Strength and tradition, a tradition that carries on from graduating class to graduating class, a symbolic reminder of the leadership carrying the motto, no victory without work. The Adrian College class of 2021 can proudly proclaim that we have earned our ribbon of excellence for persevering through a pandemic because of our hard work. We have to, had to learn how to best navigate the many what ifs in uncharted times. While some of the what ifs have been answered, it is now up to each of us to embrace and navigate on our own. What if I take that job? What if I decide to continue on for postgraduate endeavors? What if I decide this? What if I decide that? No matter what, you'll be able to face your tomorrow knowing that you are a member of a pack, the Adrian College Bulldogs class of 2021. Part of the family here at Adrian College are the friends we've made. These friends have gone to games with you, shared late night tales with you, explored downtown with you, and joked around with you at Ritchie. They are in the library with you at midnight studying for the 8 a.m. exam you forgot to study for. And they're there when you cry because you failed that exam. These friends are your new family members now. You will stay in touch with them forever even if it's just liking their Facebook posts about the new puppy they just got. Parents, family, and friends, we cannot thank you enough for everything you have done for us. Thank you for the support and the opportunity for this moment to graduate from Adrian College. You have helped us reach our dreams and goals in life. Congratulations, class of 2021. We finally made it. Adrian College has dozens of athletics programs and winning is a staple on our campus. We have the culture of winning in and out of the classroom. This is a place where young men and women grow into professionals for life. Are you interested in learning more about the Bulldog experience? Visit adrianbulldogs.com and the Recruit Me tab to be recruited to play your sport of choice today. If you have what it takes, you could be a Bulldog in no time.
Crosses over, back onto the far side. Rips a shot, she scores! Adrian College is a pinpoint like no other. With our 77 undergraduate degrees, 47 majors, and 21 broad fields of study, Adrian has a one-of-a-kind, hands-on learning experience for everyone. Do you want to visit the campus of Adrian College in person? Visit adrian.edu forward slash campus hyphen visit. Again, that's adrian.edu forward slash campus hyphen visit. Come take in the beautiful facilities at Adrian College for yourself. Welcome to Adrian, Michigan. We're located in a proud college town. Adrian College is situated just 45 minutes from Ann Arbor, Detroit, and Toledo. We're very excited to show you just a little bit of what AC has to offer. This is the gateway to our campus. Welcome to the place that we believe will change the rest of your life. AC features one of the most well-rounded educational experiences in the country. We offer over 60 different academic majors and 10 academic institutes, as well as dozens of student organizations. Year after year, we've been ranked as one of the nation's best colleges, including being one of the most innovative institutions in the U.S. for our medical programs. Our campus is simply beautiful. Our student to faculty ratio is an incredible 13 to one. That means more attention for you and a much better overall learning environment. We know how to put together an education that is life changing. And these are just some of the highlights. From our communication arts program, to our many performing arts, to the home of business on campus, to our sciences and medical studies, we have the spaces where you can grow into the professional that you want to become. Our first year student experience is award winning. You'll make lifelong friends here, meet mentors, and maybe even meet that special someone. The Kane Student Center is open 24 hours a day, and there's a lot going on here. The Bulldog Beanery has all of your hot drinks. Pause and Go is our on-campus convenience store the bookstore is where you'll get all of your bulldog gear, and you can just hang out and study in the sky boxes. Not far away is the Shipman Library. The Shipman has quiet, relaxing spaces for you to study in. You can check out books from thousands of libraries around the country, and the Shipman is open 24 hours as well for your convenience. There are hundreds of learning opportunities on campus. In addition to the arts and beautiful facilities, Adrian College is known for its athletic programs. There is nothing like a Saturday game day here in Adrian. The Bulldog football team are 11-time MIAA champions. 
At Docking Stadium, fans watch soccer, lacrosse, football, and more. Just a few hundred yards away, Adrian College's basketball teams compete. In addition to basketball, fans can enjoy wrestling, acro and tumbling, and volleyball here. We also have a state-of-the-art weight room available to all of our students. When things heat up too much on campus, you can cool off with our ice sports. Our NCAA ice hockey teams are constantly battling in the national playoffs. Just a quick walk down the service drive, we feature one of the best baseball and softball programs in the nation at our level. Soon you'll be able to cross the street and watch men's and women's rugby take to the pitch as well. Our rowing, crew, and top-ranked bass fishing programs compete out of the Adrian College Boathouse, a gorgeous facility, just a 15-minute drive north on Devil's Lake. Our students know how to relax in their downtime. When they're not out and about, we have dozens of housing options on campus. With apartments right in the mix of things, you can pick what works best for you. We've also recently renovated a few of our housing options. Adrian College is a Methodist-affiliated institution that has been changing lives since 1859. The modern liberal arts education offered by our faculty is unrivaled. We can't wait to have you on campus and show you around. Visit adrian.edu to schedule a full campus visit today. We'll see you soon. Bulldog fans connect with Adrian College TV on social media to be updated when we're broadcasting live, to see highlights, plays of the week, and much more. Adrian College Television is on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. ACTV's handle is at Adrian College TV on every form of social media. Thank you for tuning in and subscribing to the home of the Bulldogs, Adrian College TV. Adrian College has once again been recognized for its commitment to engaged, experiential education by Colleges of Distinction, a one-of-a-kind guide for college-bound students. While higher education has changed over the past 20 years, Colleges of Distinction's selection process has stayed consistent in accepting only those that adhere to the four distinctions, engaged students, great teaching, vibrant community, and successful outcomes. Overlaid in the last few years have been a look into high-impact practices. They believe most critical to the student experience were the kinds of engaging experience that are found at Adrian College. To learn more, please visit adrian.edu. Continue to take pride and learn from Asim Han's leadership today. And the slam. 161 years of commitment to harnessing the power of creativity, ingenuity, community, and academic excellence. I believe that if you get your degree here, the world is going to feel like it's shrinking. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, people at home and abroad. And thank you for tuning in to ACTV's live stream coverage of ACHA Women's D2 Hockey. You're in for a show this afternoon as it's going to be game one of two of this game set between the Lake Superior State University Lakers and the Adrian College Bulldogs. Hi again, everybody. Trey Matthews, your play-by-play -play announcer. It's been all hockey this weekend as we've seen uh, Men's D2. They were able to sweep uh, in their respective matchups earlier. 
Uh, we also saw ACHA women's uh, D1 get their season underway against the University of Michigan. We've seen ACHA men's D2 play their first home game of the year at Arrington Ice Arena. And now it's time for the ACHA women's D2 team to get their season started against this Lakers squad. So it's going to be a bit of a re reunion, if you want to say, because the head coach for the Adrian College Bulldogs is Jamie Mensner. For the past two years, she's been the assistant coach for Hannah Griffin's squad uh, for the ACHA Women's D1 program here at Adrian College, and now she gets the reins to be the head coach. And now the puck is dropped, and it's going to go to the Adrian College Bulldogs having possession of it. Going deep into the zone, can't do anything with it. Below the goal line, rattles it around. Lakers looking to go on the attack. It's going to go back to the Bulldogs as they take it deep into the zone. Now take it to the northeast corner. Taking control of the puck is Orwarski. Dipping it on back. Trying to get a stick on it was Regner. And the assistant coach for the Adrian College Bulldogs is Maddie Maloney, former women's D1 player. So... It's kind of cool that she played under Jamie Mensner for the ACHA Women's D1 program. And now here they are, head coach and assistant coach, and returning to the Women's D2 squad from the ACHA Women's uh, D1 is Emily Gilmore, one of the netminders for this D2 team. She originally began her Adrian College career playing uh, for this D2 squad, went up to ACHA Women's D1 last year, and after a season decided to come back down to D2. Taking control of it is Stevens. Too much trees in the forest as the puck is ricocheted. It's going to go back to neutral zone. Able to dip it is Huckster. Saucering a pass up ahead. Taylor warning her team of the icing, and icing is called as number 14, Avery Huckster, got there first. So the starting goalies for both respective teams. First for the Lakers, the Cadillac Michigan native number 28, Autumn Formore, will be starting for the Lakers. And for the Adrian College Bulldogs, from Bowmanville, Ontario, Canada, it is Hannah Taylor. So faceoff is going to come on the glove side of Formore. And it's going to be dipped right in front of her. It's going to go to the Adrian College Bulldogs. Stevens has it at the point, but it's swiped away. Now Stevens takes control of it at neutral zone. Has to wait for her teammates to come back and reset. Able to pass it up ahead to Regner. It's going to go back over to a Chase. Saucering a pass up ahead. And it's going to be gathered by the Bulldogs. In neutral zone. Now goes to the Lakers. Now over to Culberston. Culberston takes it below the goal line to the right of Taylor. Dips it on back. It's going to go in to the southwest corner. Clanks it off the boards. Trying to gather it are the Bulldogs. Shoved on her back. Lakers take control of it. Let's one fire. Goes a little too wide. Taking control of the rebound is Zabik for the Lakers. Drops it on down. Puck is pinned along the southeast corner. Now the Lakers fish it out and take control of it at the point here. Taking control of it is number 27. Redirected out in front. Taylor is able to land on it quickly. Freeze action with 17-28 remaining in period number one. So line change for both respective teams. As the faceoff is going to come on the glove side of Taylor, and it's going to go over to the Lakers as they're trying to get a twig on it. It's going to be rattled around, goes below the goal line. Lakers all alone. Takes it deep in the slot, lets one fire, and it's ricocheted out in front. Takes it into the southwest corner, rattles it around once again, going from the southwest part of the rink to the southeast corner. Goes below the goal line. Scarborough is going to take control of it. Hits it off the boards, and it's going to go down the other way of the rink. And the Lakers are going to get there in plenty of time for an icing. Zam, no one there to greet her. So we're going to go back down the other way for a faceoff. Bulldogs cannot make a line change since they ice the puck, but the Lakers elect to. Goes below the goal line. Scarborough fighting for the puck. Now taking control of it. Hit, goes off a skate of a Bulldog player. There on the rebound, crashing on in. Nothing doing. Pillowed away by Taylor. 
Now the Bulldogs trying to clear it and go back on the attack. They're able to weakly hit and it's going to go back to the Lakers. Lakers in the faceoff circle. Centering try. No one's there to help her out. It's going to go back to the Adrian College Bulldogs as they're trying to take it from end to end in the gray area. Now the Lakers are going to dip it on back into their zone. Taylor is going to just tip it over to one of her teammates. That's Paul Larry. Now the puck is jammed along the boards. Two Bulldogs, two Lakers fighting for it. It's going to go back to the Adrian College Bulldogs. Scarborough just taps it off the boards. Goes back to neutral zone for the Lakers. Now going deep in the zone, all one. Just her and Taylor goes off the chest protector, crashing in on the net. And no one's able to make anything out of it. Taylor does not appreciate the attacker of the Lakers just trying to attempt another shot on her when she was trying to hold on to the puck. That's going to get a goalie riled up every time. The net got moved, so they're going to have to uh, fix it momentarily. We have 15-54 remaining in period number one. Shots on goal differential. Lakers have four shots on goal. Bulldogs still looking for their first shot on goal attempt. Now going deep into the zone. It's going to go back over to the Bulldogs. Unfortunately, they're going to get a tripping violation, so we're going to be seeing their penalty killers. And heading to the penalty box for the Adrian College Bulldogs is number 20, Jordan Jayev. So the Bulldogs roster is going to shrink by one. Unfortunately, she got her skate tripped up. Pardon me, she got her stick uh, underneath the skate of a Lakers player, so that's going to result in a tripping violation every time. So the roster for the Bulldogs shrinks by one, and we're going to see what the power play unit can do for the Lakers. Takes it below the goal line. Now back at the point area. All alone. Unloads. Puck dies out at the end. Taylor didn't need to make that difficult of a stop. Now it goes to back over to the Lakers. They take it below the goal line. Looking for a wraparound opportunity. And it's going to be spun around and given right back to the Adrian College Bulldogs as they're able to just get some air on the puck. And they're just trying to clear it. They're able to do so. That's going to kill some time. A minute 20 remaining in the penalty for the Adrian College Bulldogs for that tripping violation. Now it's in neutral zone. Now going back on the attack are the Lakers. Looking for some sort of opening at the point area. She's going to let one fire. It's redirected out in front. Goes away from Taylor and it goes over to her right. Now back over to the point area for the Lakers. Trying to dip it on away and they do so. Now they're trying to go on the attack. And unfortunately, that attack is going to die out. Met some great defense by the Lakers to regain their composure. They have 45 seconds remaining in their power play. Back over to the point area for the Lakers on this man-up advantage. Tries to get one past Taylor's leg padding, but it comes up empty. 35 seconds remaining in the power play for the Lakers. They got to move if they want to make anything out of it. Planks it off the boards. Hits it high. And it goes back over to ACHA D2 Adrian College. Now it goes into neutral zone. That's going to kill some more time. Lakers are just going to dump it on in. They're going to do a line change of their specialty teams. Bulldogs able to rattle it around. And at the point area are the Lakers. And it leaves the attacking area for the Lakers. It goes back into their defensive zone. Zam is able to get control of it. And we're going to get a penalty, it looks like. It's an interference call. And it looks like it's going to go on the Lakers. So for the next four seconds, we are going to get four-on-four four hockey. But as soon as Jayev checks back into the game, it's going to be a power play for the Adrian College Bulldogs. So 13-51 remaining in period number one. Bulldogs still do not have a shot on goal attempt. But the score is still tied 0-0. Zero to zero. Thank you for tuning into Adrian College Television on YouTube. You're home for Adrian College Athletics. I'm Trey Matthews, your play by play announcer. Redirected by the Lakers, and the Bulldogs will be back at full strength. Jayev checks back into the game after serving time for a tripping violation. So the Bulldogs have the man up advantage. Goes below the goal line. Hit into the boards really hard. Bulldogs just trying to clear it and go back on the attack. Able to pass it up to center ice. Takes it past the blue line. Gives it on back. Drew Butt takes control of it. Waiting for her teammates to get set. Passes it to her right very weakly 
over on to Grimm. Grimm back to Druba. Grimm at the point area. He's going to let one go. Hit very weakly. Goes back to the point area. Spins it around. Now back over to Grimm at the point area. Looking for some sort of opening. Centering try. Looking to go back door. Comes up empty. Goes back to the Adrian College Bulldogs as they're going to rattle it around below the goal line. Centering try once again. And able to get a stick on it are the Lakers. And trying to crash in on the rebound are the Bulldogs. But they're shut down. Now goes back to the Adrian College Bulldogs. Back over to Druba, trying to go back door, but unfortunately no one was able to get a stick on it at the last possible second and able to clear it on down. Are the Lakers, that's going to kill some time. The Bulldogs have 45 seconds remaining in their man-up advantage. So they're going to reset. they got to move if they want to make anything out of it. Taking control of it are the Bulldogs. Now past the blue line, it goes, goes back over to neutral zone. Stevens takes control of it. Passing it up the rink. Misses the intended target. Now in neutral zone, gets tangled up, and it's going to go back over to Zam for the Lakers as she's trying to go on the attack, but is greeted by three Bulldog players. So the Bulldogs will gather the puck with ease. They're able to tip it on ahead. Now in the defensive zone for the Lakers, they're going to blast it down to the other side of the rink. That's going to waste plenty of time, and it looks like the Bulldogs' power play is going to come up short. As the Lakers are going to come back to full strength, I might have spoken too soon. One-on-one -on -one goes off the leg padding and pillowed away by four more. Now goes back to the Bulldogs, unloads his Stevens, and it goes off the catching glove of four more once again, and it is bobbled away. Lakers skip it ahead. Off the skate of a Bulldog player, playing in front of the benches in neutral zone. Gets tripped up, it's gonna go back over to Stevens. As she's gonna try to maneuver it up ahead, but it's gonna go into the possession with ease to the Lakers. Lakers take control of it in neutral zone. Now past the blue line, going on the attack. Unloads, and she scores! What a sniper! One to nothing, Lakers here at Arrington Ice Arena. They're going to light the lamp first in this matchup. Looking at the replay here. Just comes charging on in. Greeted by excellent defense, but that's just better offense. What, what precision location right there for the Lakers, and now they're going to lead. One to nothing here at Arrington Ice Arena. So the faceoff coming at center ice. And it's going to go back to the Bulldogs as Druba is just going to hit it directly over to a four more. She's going to land on it, and that's going to pause action once again. Faceoff going to come on the stick side of four more. Bulldogs take possession of it at the point area. Tries to knock it on down. Culberston was there. Now the Lakers are going to go back on the attack in neutral zone, past the blue line. Now they're in their attacking zone. Able to greet it is Culberston, trying to get a stick on it, passing it around below the goal line. Puck is pinned. And if you're keeping track at home, Megan Jerry was the one who scored the goal for the Lakers. Cross passing it up ahead. Goes back to the Bulldogs, past the blue line. Goes deep into the zone, tries to go for the backhander and has bobbled off four more. Now goes back to the Bulldogs as they're looking to just go down the other side of the rink. They dump it on down because they elect to go for a line change. Now goes back to the Bulldogs. Culberson just hits it up. And icing is going to be the call. So we're going to go down the other way of the rink for a faceoff. 10-11 remaining in period number one. Bulldogs trail the Lakers by a score of one to nothing. Faceoff going to come on the stick side of Taylor. Goes back to the Adrian College Bulldogs as they look to clear it out of their own zone. Tries to do, go on the takeaway, comes up empty. Goes back to the Lakers, lets one go, and it's just going to be bobbled up in front. Now they're on the rebound, and they miss another rebound opportunity, so it goes back to the Adrian College Bulldogs as they have the puck laid ahead. Now going deep into the zone, excellent moves. Let's one fire, goes too wide of the post. Now the Bulldogs try to regain control of it in... Neutral zone, one-on-one, -on -one and excellent defense 
by Scarborough. Kept her composure. Skips it up ahead. Almost hits the scoreboard. It's going to go back to the Lakers in their own zone. In the north side of the rink. Now it goes back over to Scarborough. Passing it to her right. Goes back to the Lakers. Lakers got to wait for everyone to come back and reset. They're just going to flick the puck ahead as they're going to go for a line change and get some fresh legs on to the rink. Now Lakers cross pass up ahead. Now past the blue line. Let's one go. Excellent defense. Wore that puck beautifully on that block shot. Now goes into the southeast corner. Bulldogs are just going to lay it on back. Slides the puck over. Goes back to the Lakers. Able to muscle it over. Clanks off the boards. Bulldogs got a stick on it, but it's going to go back to the Lakers in neutral zone. Got to wait for everyone to come back and reset. Now it's going to go back over to the Bulldogs as they're able to clear it. Elect to go for a line change. And icing is the call. They intended to just dump that puck and go for the line change. Unfortunately, the referees held everyone back from going into the benches and just said, nope, that puck is iced. Hang on a second. Face off coming at, on the stick side. Goes back to the Adrian College Bulldogs. Trying to go down the other way, but excellent defense by the Lakers as they come charging on in. Excellent defense by Scarborough just to shove the player away. But goes back to the Lakers once again. They get a stick on it, able to keep it on sides. They dump it in. Stand corrected. Offsides is the call. Eight oh seven remaining in period number one. Bulldogs trail the Lakers by a score of one to nothing here at Arrington Ice Arena. Face off coming in front of the penalty box in neutral zone. Goes back to the Lakers. Jams it. Bulldogs try to swipe it away, but they can't get full grasp of the puck. And Taylor warning her team of the icing. Defense got there first, so we're going to go down the other way of the rink to the north side for a faceoff with 7.53 remaining in the first period of play. So the faceoff is going to come on the stick side of four more. And able to get it is Druba. Now goes back to the Bulldogs. Grimm has a stick on it. Bulldogs able to get grasp of the puck, but the defense came swarming in on them. And they lose possession of the puck. Now goes back to the Lakers in the north side of the rink. Spins it around. Bulldogs take control of it. Looking for some sort of opportunity. Wide open in the center. Let's one go. They're on the rebound. They score. One to one, Adrian College able to get a goal back. And this game is tied. That goal is going to be credited to Kathleen Druba. So when we're looking at the replay, just excellent tenacity and determination from Kathleen Druba and able to get there on the rebound and just score it. And it goes back to the Adrian College Bulldogs as they're able to get a goal back with 7-10 remaining in period number one. Goes off the boards. Lakers take control of it at the point area. Come swarming on in are the Adrian College Bulldogs. So we have a new game once again and they're just gonna skip it up ahead. This is going to be an easy icing call as Zam got there in plenty of time. So 6.53 remaining in period number one with the score knotted up one apiece.
Faceoff coming on the glove side of Taylor. And it's going to go back over to the Lakers at the point area. Passing it to her left and swiped away. This could be trouble. Open breakaway. No one there to greet her. Let's one go. And it goes high of the crossbar. Too much pepper on that biscuit as it went wide. Missed the target by a wide margin. Goes below the goal line. And it goes into the northeast corner. And now it goes below the goal line, tries to do a wraparound shot, and is rejected by four more. Line change for both respective teams. Kathleen Droba scoring the lone goal for the Adrian College Bulldogs so far, whereas Megan Jerry scored the other goal for the Lakers. That's why we have a one-to-one -one game here at Arrington Ice Arena with six minutes. Now there, crashing on in, lands on it, is four more on her stomach, able to hold on to it with 6.03 remaining in the first period of play. Shots on goal differential, 11 to six in favor of the Adrian College Bulldogs. They take it below the goal line. Puck is pinned along the boards. Bulldogs able to fish it out. And now the Lakers looking for some vengeance. They're gonna take it down to the other side of the rink. Jerry on her horse and able to swipe it away are the Adrian College Bulldogs. So they're gonna shift it over and it's gonna go back over to the Lakers as they just muscle it in and it goes wide. Loses possession of the puck. Adrian College able to get a stick on it. Now back over to the Bulldogs. Bulldogs greeted by angry defense for the Lakers as they're able to just slow down their momentum. They're playing in front of the benches. Now who wants possession of it more? And it looks like it's going to go to the Adrian College Bulldogs. Passing it down and to her left. Line change for the Adrian College Bulldogs. Passing it up ahead to Hishman. Hirschman loses possession of the puck. And it's going to go back over to the Lakers in neutral zone, passing it up ahead and to her left. Goes below the goal line. Looking for some sort of opening. Elects to pass it over to the point. Now back over to the center, and they lose possession of it. That pass was intended for number 25, Polari but she missed the puck, centering try once again, and Scarborough is able to greet him. The shot goes a little too wide, nothing to do. Goes back to the Lakers, and it's gonna leave neutral zone. Lakers hustling for the puck, and they're gonna pass it up ahead to Polari. Polari elects to pass it over to Masasek. Masasek is just going to pass it on down. Zabik, stolen away by the Adrian College Bulldogs as it's going to be knocked over to the left of Taylor. Scarborough is just going to skip it up ahead. Taylor is going to get a stick on it and pass it behind. Uh-oh, this could be trouble. Taylor left her post temporarily to retrieve that puck, and had the Lakers been a step just quicker, they could have made this a 2-1 to game. Now at the point area, passing to the right. All alone, lets one go, knocked down in front, too much traffic in the lane, able to kick it to themselves are the Adrian College Bulldogs. Now they look to go back onto the attack and the Lakers greet them. And we are going to get a whistle and a pause of action. Offsides is the call, player got a little too antsy. So we're gonna get ready for the faceoff in front of the bench of the Lakers in neutral zone. And it's gonna go over to the Bulldogs as they're just going to jab it on in. And diving to her stomach is four more. Faceoff is on the stick side of four more. 
Flicks it on down, and it's going to go back over to the Adrian College Bulldogs. And they're going to take it into neutral zone, and everybody's going to come back and reset. Clanking it off the boards is Grimm. Goes below the goal line. Taking possession of it is Zam. Centering try and able to clear it temporarily are the Lakers, but the Bulldogs regain control of it. Now taking it deep into the crease area. Four more is just going to land onto the puck. Freeze action with 250 remaining in period number one. Line change for both respective teams. So we're going to get ready for the faceoff in the northeast part of the rink. Shots on goal differential, 12 to 6 in favor of the Adrian College Bulldogs. Once again, it was just knocked over to four more, so she got a glove on it, lands on it, and that's going to pause action once again. Going to go over to the Lakers. Lakers going to flick it up ahead. It goes to the point area. Checked into the boards. Lands on the puck. It's pinned. Absolute bedlam near the Lakers bench. As the captain, Huckster, was able to get onto her feet after landing onto the puck. And it's going to be dropped on back to the Lakers. Lakers knock it up ahead, but it's going to go over to the other side of the rink in the defensive zone for the Adrian College Bulldogs, and Stevens gets there on the race towards the puck, and icing is the call with 2.16 remaining in period number one. Face off coming. Northeast part of the rink, and it's going to go to the Adrian College Bulldogs as the point. Unloads, and it goes behind the netting below the goal line. Now the Bulldogs take control of it. Looking for some sort of opening. Skating around in the deep slot area. Can't get it through the five hole. Excellent save by four more. Two minutes remaining in this first period of play. Face off is going to be tied up and it's going to go to the Lakers as they barely just get a stick on it. Now the Bulldogs able to poke it away. Now it goes back over to the Lakers. Lakers gliding the puck over, going deep into the attacking area. Let's one go and it goes a little too far wide. They're on the rebound are the Lakers. Knocked down in front, doesn't even reach Taylor. Now Coverston takes control of it past the blue line. Flicks it up on ahead. It goes below the goal line for the Lakers to take control of it. Knocks it on the boards. Lakers trying to take control of the puck. They do so. Could be a two-on-one opportunity. This could be trouble, and they lose possession of the puck and can't answer on that opportunity. So the Bulldogs dodge a major bullet on that last possession. Lakers take control of it. That's DeMorris. DeMorris lets one go. Goes off the leg padding as pillowed away. They're going to try again, centering try. An excellent save by Taylor as she was able to get a stick on it and knock it high of the crossbar. Now back over to the Lakers at the point area. There's 45 seconds remaining in period number one, the first period of play. Now it's knocked over to Culberson. She's able to just glide it over towards the other end as there's a line change for the Adrian College Bulldogs with 30 seconds remaining in the first period of play. Pokes at it, and it goes back to the Adrian College Bulldogs. Playing it on the near side, getting pinched. Rattles it around, 15 seconds remaining. Still plenty of time for a team to do something, though. Looks like the Lakers look to go on one final attack in this period. Now charging up the way of the rink. Flynn loses the puck, goes back into neutral zone, just going to let one go, and triple zeros are going to hit the board. That signals the end of period number one. So the game is all dotted up, one apiece, thanks to Megan Jerry for the Lake Superior State University Lakers, and thanks to uh, Kathleen Druba uh, for the Adrian College Bulldogs.
So the players, coaches are heading back to the locker room to get replenished, refueled, and rehydrated for the start of the middle period, the second period. And we're also going to step aside here at Adrian College Television. Don't go anywhere. There's still more in store. I'm Trey Matthews, your play-by-play -play announcer. I will see you at the beginning of period number two. Don't go anywhere. Crosses over, back onto the far side. Rips the shot, she scores!
Adrian College is a pinpoint like no other. With our 77 undergraduate degrees, 47 majors, and 21 broad fields of study, Adrian has a one-of-a-kind, hands-on learning experience for everyone. Do you want to visit the campus of Adrian College in person? Visit adrian.edu forward slash campus hyphen visit. Again, that's adrian.edu forward slash campus hyphen visit. Come take in the beautiful facilities at Adrian College for yourself. What if you didn't choose to become an Adrian College Bulldog? Surely you would have carried on with your education and could potentially be graduating elsewhere. But what would you have the honor of greeting Bruiser on campus? Would you have had the privilege of working alongside faculty that know your name? Would you have had the opportunity to learn and grow in an environment that is seeking the truth and dignity in all people? Would you have had a creative learning environment that is supportive of challenging you and achieving excellence in your academics, but also your personal and professional lives? This has been Adrian College's promise to us. Just as our families have promised to love us unconditionally and support us through the many peaks and valleys of our lives, Adrian offered a similar promise to us when they realized our potential by asking us to join them. While we have been busy navigating the many what ifs of our time, none of which we could have imagined, we have indeed found the cane that holds our ribbons of excellence at Adrian to stand strong. Strength and tradition, a tradition that carries on from graduating class to graduating class. A symbolic reminder of the leadership carrying the motto, no victory without work. The Adrian College class of 2021 can proudly proclaim that we have earned our ribbon of excellence for persevering through a pandemic because of our hard work. We have to, had to learn how to best navigate the many what ifs in uncharted times. While some of the what ifs have been answered, it is now up to each of us to embrace and navigate on our own. What if I take that job? What if I decide to continue on for postgraduate endeavors? What if I decide this? What if I decide that? No matter what, you'll be able to face your tomorrow knowing that you are a member of a pack, the Adrian College Bulldogs Class of 2021. Part of the family here at Adrian College are the friends we've made. These friends have gone to games with you, shared late night tales with you, explored downtown with you, and joked around with you at Ritchie. They are in the library with you at midnight, studying for the 8 a.m. exam you forgot to study for. And they're there when you cried because you failed that exam. These friends are your new family members now. You will stay in touch with them forever, even if it's just liking their Facebook post about the new puppy they just got. Parents, family, and friends, we cannot thank you enough for everything you have done for us. Thank you for the support and the opportunity for this moment to graduate from Adrian College. You have helped us reach our dreams and goals in life. Congratulations, class of 2021. We finally made it. Adrian College has once again found itself on the 2022 U.S. News & World Report Best College Rankings. This is the eighth straight year that Adrian has been named to the top regional college's Midwest section. Adrian College was also named the most innovative school in the regional college's Midwest category. In addition, Adrian received accolades and best value in undergraduate teaching within regional college's Midwest. Adrian College was also named in the top first-year experiences by U.S. News & World Report. This marks the 13th consecutive year that Adrian has appeared in U.S. News & World Report. To see the full rankings, visit their website. For more information on Adrian College, visit adrian.edu. Adrian College has once again been recognized for its commitment to engaged experiential education by Colleges of Distinction, a one-of-a-kind guide for college-bound students. 
While higher education has changed over the past 20 years, Colleges of Distinction's selection process has stayed consistent in accepting only those that adhere to the four distinctions, engaged students, great teaching, vibrant community, and successful outcomes. Overlaid in the last few years have been a look into high-impact practices. They believe most critical to the student experience were the kinds of engaging experience that are found at Adrian College. To learn more, please visit adrian.edu. Fans connect with Adrian College TV on social media to be updated when we're broadcasting live, to see highlights, plays of the week, and much more. Adrian College Television is on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. ACTV's handle is at Adrian College TV on every form of social media. Thank you for tuning in and subscribing to the home of the Bulldogs, Adrian College TV. Adrian College has once again found itself on the 2022 U.S. News & World Report Best College Rankings. This is the eighth straight year that Adrian has been named to the top regional college's Midwest section. Adrian College was also named the most innovative school in the regional college's Midwest category. In addition, Adrian received accolades and best value in undergraduate teaching within regional college's Midwest. Adrian College was also named in the top first-year experiences by U.S. News & World Report. This marks the 13th consecutive year that Adrian has appeared in U.S. News & World Report. To see the full rankings, visit their website. For more information on Adrian College, visit adrian.edu. Welcome back to Arrington Ice Arena for the start of the game, for the start of period number two. Players, coaches getting ready to get started as they are coming back over to the rink. Trey Matthews, your play-by-play -play announcer. And the score is tied one apiece. as the final 40 seconds are winding down. Players skating around. Coaches going over their final huddles. going into the respective huddles as we're going to get ready for the puck drop to start period number two. Score is knotted up one apiece, thanks to Kathleen Droba for the Adrian College Bulldogs and Megan Jerry for the Lakers. So the puck drop is going to go over to the Lakers and now back over to the Bulldogs 
as Taylor and four more have switched positions. Now Taylor is in the north side of the rink and four more is in the south side. Puck is pinned along the penalty box boards. And it's going to go back to the Adrian College Bulldogs back on down. Swiped away by the Lakers. And it's going to go a little wide. Now in to the northeast corner. Lakers looking for an opening. Shots on goal differential, 13 to 10 in favor of the Adrian College Bulldogs. Adrian College able to swipe the puck away. Bulldogs retrieve it and trying to play it along the boards as it is jammed. Bulldogs able to find an opening and now they're gonna go on the attack going from the north side of the ring to the south side. Going into the faceoff circle, centering try goes high of the crossbar. Goes below the goal line, takes it into the southeast corner. Now back over to the point area. Passing it to on down. Centering try is going to come up empty as there's just too much traffic in the lane to do anything with it. Now back on down to the Lakers. Lakers are going to pass it up ahead. Lakers are going to go down to the other side of the rink, drop it on down, and they can't do anything with it below the goal line. And now the Bulldogs are able to clear it, and they look to go back onto the attack. Taking it past the benches in neutral zone. Now past the blue line, two on two. Centering try is going to come up empty. And it goes back to uh, the Lakers. Centering try for the Bulldogs comes up empty right there as well. Now it goes into neutral zone. Lakers going from end to end. Bulldogs drop it on down. Goes below the goal line. And it goes back over to the Lakers. Cross passing up ahead. And looks like the puck, yep, it did go out of play, hit the benches, and then came back on to the rink. So we're going to freeze action with 1747 remaining in period number two. Faceoff coming at center ice, and it's going to be won by the Lakers. Bulldogs take control of it, past the blue line. And the Lakers able to intercept it. Now goes back to the Bulldogs as they're just going to knife it on in. And it's going to go below the goal line. Score still not up, one apiece. Now back at the point area for the Adrian College Bulldogs, trying to ricochet it off. Now it goes over to the uh, southeast corner. A little bit of roughing. And it's going to go back to the Lakers. Now back over to the point area for the Bulldogs. Bulldogs shoots it on in, goes off the leg padding, and they're crashing there on the net, trying to knife it on in. And four more is able to land on it. Three minutes have come and go here at Arrington Ice Arena. The score is still knotted up, one apiece. Face off coming on the stick side of four more. and falling onto the ground, and they're gonna let one go, and able to just land on their stomach and freeze action is gonna be four more. And it's coming on the stick side, and it's gonna go back to the Adrian College Bulldogs now out of neutral zone. Bulldogs are gonna regain control of it in their defensive zone, looking to go back onto the attack. They do so, but only momentarily. It's going to go back over to the Lakers. Banging it off the boards. Shifts it on ahead. Tangled up. Referee's hand goes up into the air. As Taylor rushes off the rink, the Bulldogs get the extra attacker. And now the Lakers touch the puck, so they're going to be given a penalty. And it's going to go on their captain, Hallie McLean, for hooking. Fortunately, you cannot stop skating and use your stick to tug on the opponent. That's going to result in a hooking minor each time. Hook the player like a fish, so we're going to get ready for the Bulldog power play. And 
and the Bulldogs are going to knife it up. And now the Lakers swipe it away. They look to go back onto the attack. The low, bo goes below the goal line. And the Bulldogs just take it below. Now passing it up ahead. Four minutes have come and go. Bulldogs have the man-up advantage for the next 90 seconds. Passing up to neutral zone. Bulldogs look to go back on the attack. Puck is tied up. And it's going to go back to the Adrian College Bulldogs as they're going to hit it to the point area. Passing it to the left. Let's one go. And it's knocked down in front and able to land on it is four more. So 15-42 remaining in period number two. Line change for both respective teams. A minute 14 remaining in McLaughlin's penalty for hooking. 15-40 remaining in the middle period. It's going to go back to the Lakers. They don't look to waste time. Looks like they're trying to go on the attack and get the shorthanded goal. Takes it below the goal line in the north side of the rink. They're going to elect to take it out of neutral zone and reset. Everyone comes back to, re to restart. Barely just goes past the blue line. 45 seconds remaining in McLaughlin's penalty. Goes back to the Adrian College Bulldogs in front of their bench. Going deep into the zone. Let's one go. And knocked down in front by the Lakers. Excellent job to just shut down the attack. Passing it to her right. Now back on down. Too much traffic in the lane. They're crashing it on in. And they're not able to get the power play goal as four more lands on the puck with ease. 17 shots on goal for the Adrian College Bulldogs. 10 shots on goal for the Lake Superior State University Lakers. 14-45 remaining in period number two. Comes on the stick side. And the Bulldogs just jam it. And it goes back to the Bulldogs. Knocks it on down. Lakers go below the goal line. And trying to go on the attack of the Adrian College Bulldogs. They were there on the crease and the doorstep. Unfortunately, four more was able to shut it down with that excellent save. Only two seconds remaining in four more's penalty. I'm sorry, excuse me. Two minutes remaining in McLaughlin's penalty. Four more is the goalie and was able to hold on to it. So barring a quick shot, looks like the power play is going to come up empty for the Adrian College Bulldogs, and it will do so as now the Lakers are back at full strength. Goes below the goal line. Centering try, knocked away. Adrian College tries to take possession of it. Lakers take control of it. Bulldogs have it in neutral zone. And now the Lakers go on the attack and get shoved. Now the Lakers try to go from the offense to the defense, and they're able to defuse it as the Bulldogs came in full speed ahead. Puck is pinned along in the corners. Now it goes back to the Adrian College Bulldogs. Stevens is just going to dump it in and elect to go for a line change. Now the Lakers try to hit it up ahead. And they're able to swipe it away. Bulldogs get a stick on it. Bulldogs going to take it below the goal line. And greeted by the defense. And the Lakers have it in neutral zone. Everyone's going to have to come back and reset. Everyone's coming to creep on in. 13-13 remaining in period number two. Bulldogs looking to clear the puck and get it out of their defensive zone. Shots on goal differential 19 to 10 in favor of the Adrian College Bulldogs. 12.50 remaining in period number two. Goes below the goal line. Trying to hit it up ahead. Now 
Now coming on in, lets one fire, and it goes a little too wide. Golden opportunity for the Lakers as they were all alone deep into the slot. Unfortunately, just comes up empty. Just the wrong type of hands as it went a little too far wide. Now the Lakers will take control of it in neutral zone. They're just going to knock it up ahead. And it's going to go over to the Adrian College Bulldogs. Able to get a twig on it. Now it's pinned along the boards. The fight for it between DeMorris and Culberston. And looks like the Lakers are going to come out victorious. And now the Lakers all alone. And it's going to go out into neutral zone. Lakers are going to come back and reset. Now passing up ahead, greeted by heavy contact, but the Lakers are able to swipe it away. Now coming on in, and Hannah, it comes in and out of her catching glove and able to land on it. Words being exchanged by the Adrian College Bulldogs and the Lakers. Eleven forty-one remaining in period number two. Droba and Jerry, responsible for the only goals of the game. Droba for the Bulldogs and Jerry for the Lakers. Now coming in on the crease, goes below the goal line. Gets pinned along the boards. Bulldogs able to fish it on out. Now trying to pass it up ahead at the point area. Now goes below the goal line. Crashing on in. And now at the point area once again for the Lakers. And they score! Looks like it ricocheted out front. But either way, it's 2-1 to one Lakers. Credit that goal to number 24, Kelsey Flynn. So the Lakers had it at the point area. Just let one go. Wasn't the best shot in the world, but still... Either way, the puck went into the twine, and it's 2-1 to one. Lakers here at Arrington Ice Arena. 11-13 remaining in period number two. Passing it on back. Bulldogs looking to tie it up, and the Lakers looking to extend their lead. 11 minutes remaining in period number two. Bulldogs looking to fish it out. And now it goes back to the point area. And now the Lakers taking a neutral zone. And it's going to go deep into the Adrian College zone. Able to swipe it away, centering try, gets bobbled. And it's going to go back over to the Adrian College Bulldogs. Able to get a stick on it, but not for long at the point area for the Lakers, trying to knock it on down. So these two teams have some sort of history. They played uh, three games last year. Bulldogs came out victorious in all three matchups, outscoring them 25 to three in all three matchups combined. But right now the Lakers are leading the Bulldogs and looking for some vengeance, but we still have plenty of hockey to be played. Halfway done with period number two. Now cross pass up ahead. Trying to get a stick on it. Puck is jammed along the boards. Now goes back to the Adrian College Bulldogs. Past the blue line. In the faceoff circle. Looking for some sort of opening. Can't find it. They come swarming on in on the Bulldogs. Playing excellent defense on the Lakers. Bulldogs barely able to keep it on size. They're going to just knock it on down. And they're just going to bobble it over to one of the face-off circles. Unloads, too much traffic in the lane, and it's just bobbled over to four more as she's just going to hold on to it. 9-13 remaining in period number two. Lakers on top by a score of 2-1. to one. Comes on the glove side. And it's going to go over to the Lakers. Able to swipe away are the Adrian College Bulldogs. Bulldogs trying to play it on down, but able to get a stick on it and just poke it away was the netminder, Formore. Goes below the goal line. 
Bulldogs centering try. Traffic was too jammed as the Lakers came swarming on in. Goes off the stick of four more. Now back to the Adrian College Bulldogs. Pitches on down. Maneuvering the puck. Lakers take control of it. Clanks it off the glass. It's going to go into neutral zone. Trying to gather it are the Adrian College Bulldogs. Huckster is able to knock it on down and knocks a player down in the process. Now the Bulldogs have it in their own zone. Have to get out of there if you want to make something out of it. In neutral zone. Cross pass up ahead. Goes past the blue line. And now the Lakers take control of it in neutral zone. Passing up ahead. This could be trouble. Defensive collapse for the Adrian College Bulldogs. Let's one go. And it goes way too wide and a little high of the crossbar. Excellent opportunity for Tori Misisek. But she couldn't do anything with it. Wraparound shot, and they score. Now the Lakers lead 3-1. to one. Couldn't do anything on that open snapshot opportunity as it went wide and high of the crossbar. But still, they were able to gather the puck, try again, and now they lead 3-1 to one here at Arrington Ice Arena. Goal was scored by Wozniak. 7.55 remaining in period number two. As Johnny Costello would say, even though the uh, Lakers are leading 3-1, to one, the two-goal lead is always the worst lead in hockey. So let's see what the Adrian College Bulldogs can do to try to answer on back. Now going down the other way, odd man rush, two on one. Trying to go back door, they score! Tick for tack, the Bulldogs will get the goal back! Beautiful play drawn up by the Adrian College Bulldogs. Went on the odd man rush, went back door, and it's an easy goal. Now they only trail by a single goal. Looking at the replay, Bulldogs just come charging on in. And they tried to crouch block where the Lakers, unfortunately, their attempts came up empty. And like I said, the two-goal lead, worst lead in hockey, said by Johnny Costello. So let's see if the Bulldogs can tie this game with 7.35 remaining in period number two. Or maybe the Lakers can extend their lead back to a two-goal lead. Rattles it around. Pokes it away. Goes back to the Adrian College Bulldogs. Center and try. Goes back to the Bulldogs. Playing in front of the benches. Knifing at it. it. Goes back to the Lakers as they come charging on in. Excellent move right there. And it looks like they score. No, Taylor makes an excellent stop with the glove. Series of nice moves by the Lakers. As they came charging on in, did a few dekes, and Taylor was able to just reach on back, snatch the, the puck from hitting the twine, and we still remain 3-2 to two here at Arrington Ice Arena. Looking like Jonathan Bernier from last night in the matchup between the Rangers and the Devils. Now going back down the other way. Looking for some sort of opening, can't find it. Planks it off the boards. And looks like the Lakers were able to just whack it towards the other side of the rink as they're going to elect to go for a line change. 6.30 remaining in period number two. They're on the rebound once again and blocked out in front by the Adrian College Bulldogs. And it goes back over to the Lakers in their own defensive zone. Bulldogs come swarming on in. Now goes to the Adrian College Bulldogs. Hits it off the boards, rattles it around. And we're going to get a stoppage of play momentarily. Six oh nine remaining in period number two. Shots on goal differential. 21 to 18 in favor of the Adrian College Bulldogs. However, they still trail the Lakers by a goal. Goes back to the Bulldogs. They rattle it around. Now it goes back to the Lakers. Lakers just knocking it on down. Now back to the point area. Let's one go. Redirected, and they score. Went through the five hole of Hannah Taylor, and now. 
The Lakers are going to get their goal back, and now they lead by two. Back and forth affair here in the second period. So just playing it at the point area. Let one fire. Taylor went into the butterfly position. Unfortunately, it went right through her legs. So 5.55 remaining in period number two with the Lakers on top of the Bulldogs by a score of 4-2. to two. Fun fact, the Lakers have scored more goals in this game alone than they did the entire three matchups last season they've played the Bulldogs. Now the puck goes into the southeast corner. Lakers playing it below the goal line behind four more. And they're able to hit it into neutral zone. Stevens knocks it up ahead. Five thirty-four remaining in period number two. And now the puck is going to be played in front of the benches. And now it's going to go back to the Lakers. Come charging on in. Let's one fire, and it goes off the bread basket of Taylor. Now the tail. Now the Lakers have it at the point area. They just knock it on down. They're going to fling it, and it's going to go off the skate of an Adrian College Bulldog player. Trying to dump it on in and go for a line change. Nothing doing right there. Now it goes back to the Lakers. Unloads, goes off the legs of the Bulldog defenseman. That was Huckster. Taking control of it is Zabik. Zabik. On the face-off circle, trying to go deep, trying to go back door. Gets a weak twig on it, and nothing doing. Zabik is still down on the ground, slow to get up. As Formore was hustling off the rink, looks like a penalty is going to be assessed to the Adrian College Bulldogs, and it's going to go on their captain, Huckster, for body checking. So the roster is going to shrink by one for the Adrian College Bulldogs, and the Lakers are going to re-enter the power play opportunity. Four forty-one remaining in period number two. Shots on goal differential, dead even at 21 apiece. Now the Lakers looking to collapse the defense and just find some sort of opening. Passing on down to the face-off circle. Bulldogs able to swipe it away. Look for them to try to blast it down the other side of the rink. Nope, they're going to elect to just go on the run. Hannah Regner going deep into the zone, loses possession of the puck. Everyone's looking for a penalty, but no penalty will be assessed. Passing it up ahead to Jerry. Jerry takes control of it in the northwest corner near the face-off circle. Now wraparound opportunity. Looking for one of her teammates, looking for everyone to come back. Can't get it through the five-hole of Taylor as she holds on to it. So 4.03 remaining in period number two. Bulldogs trail the Lakers by a score of 4-2. Faceoff is going to come on the glove side of Taylor, and it's going to go to the Lakers. They have a minute 20 remaining in their power play. Passing it to her left, and nothing to it as the Bulldogs will get the takeaway. Pass the blue line, rattles it around. Able to fling it off the boards. She's just going to drop it on back, and it's going to go back to the Adrian College Bulldogs. Now back over to the Lakers. Lakers come hustling on in. Greeted by excellent defense by the Bulldogs, but we're going to get a whistle. And it looks like hooking is the call. So we're going to get five on three here at Arrington Ice Arena. So the Bulldogs roster will shrink by two as they already have a player serving time in the penalty box. That was Huckster, their captain, who still has 53 seconds remaining uh, in her respective penalty, so the Bulldogs are going to have to play lockdown defense on this penalty kill. Looks like Taylor lost a piece of equipment, and they're trying to fix it.
3.33 remaining in period number two. Goes back to the Adrian College Bulldogs. And it goes back over to the Lakers. Let's one go, goes high of the crossbar. Bulldogs, I, they've been trying to go on the attack for their penalty kills, but I don't think they're able to do so here, especially being down two goals. Taking control of it is Cleverson. She's going to look to blast it down to the other side of the ring. She does so. That's going to kill some time. Hopefully that will kill enough time to uh, for the Lakers to just uh, gather the puck, get set, because I think they're trying to wait for Huckster to check back into the game so they could go five on four so that way they could get an extra person onto the rink once again. Cross pass up ahead. He is not to let their defense collapse. Five seconds remaining in Huckster's penalty. Passing it to the point area. And now the Bulldogs will have one more player. And Taylor is able to hold on to it as that was trouble. Bulldogs still in the penalty kill as they have a minute and two seconds remaining in it so far. So five on four hockey still at Arrington Ice Arena with 2.35 remaining in period number two. Face off coming. It's going to be knocked over to the Adrian College Bulldogs as they're going to blast it down to the other side of the rink after clanking it off the boards. Four more is going to wait for her teammates to come to her crease area and knocks it over. Now here come the Lakers coming with a full head of steam. Trying to give out to the slot area and they just slingshot it in right at the chest protector of Taylor. It goes into her catching net. And she's going to freeze action with 2.17 remaining in the middle period of play. 44 seconds remaining in the penalty kill for the Adrian College Bulldogs, able to hit it to the other side of the rink into the defensive zone for the Lakers. Trying to knife at the puck, loses possession of it. Stevens is on the ground, getting up. Bulldogs trying to get some sort of twig on it. Unfortunately, when you're greeted by four ladies in, looks like that's blue and orange, kind of reminds me of uh, old school Detroit Tigers uh, colors, your, your chances are almost zero, but excellent attempt. Five seconds remaining in the power play for the Lakers. And it looks like it's going to come up empty as now the Bulldogs will be back at full strength. And we're going to get a whistle. Faceoff coming in front of the benches. And it's going to go to the Adrian College Bulldogs as they're looking to try and run. Deja vu, they've scored a goal like this before, but excellent defense, and they're able to clear it are the Lakers. Now the Bulldogs let one go at the point area. Goes a little too wide, and the Lakers are able to clear it. And it goes into neutral zone. Now back over to the Bulldogs. One minute remaining in the second period of play. Now passing it up ahead. Lakers looking to go back on a couple of attacks. So are the Bulldogs all alone. Excellent block right there by the Adrian College Bulldogs, but it's knocked down in front of Taylor, and the Lakers were able to get another shot off. So less than a minute remaining, 45 seconds. See what these teams can do with the short amount of time they have in period number two. Taking control of it is Grimm for the Adrian College Bulldogs. Goes off the skate of a Lakers player. Knifing at it. Goes over to Ramsey. Ramsey's able to check it. Goes back to the Lakers in neutral zone. 20 seconds remaining. Let's one fire. Direct strike at the chest protector and into the catching glove for Taylor. So freeze of action with 17.7 seconds remaining in period number two. Faceoff going to come on the glove side of Taylor. 
Time is winding down. Bulldogs looking to clear it to make sure that the Lakers don't score another goal going into period number three. They get a shot off and it's gonna go a little too far wide. Goes into the northeast corner. And triple zeros have hit the board, so that's the end of period number two. The Bulldogs so far are putting up a good fight. Unfortunately, they let the Lakers answer back on a goal, so the Lakers go up two to one, and then they go up three to one. Like I said, the two goal lead is always the worst possible uh, lead in hockey. The Bulldogs were able to answer back fairly quickly and make it a three to two game. Unfortunately, they slipped up and then they let up another goal. So going in to the final period of regulation, the Bulldogs will be trailing the Lakers by a score of four to two. So the coaches and players are gonna head back to the locker room to go over respective game plans, replenish and refuel. And we're gonna step aside here at Adrian College Television. I'm Trey Matthews, your play-by-play -play announcer. I will see you at the beginning of period number three. Don't go anywhere.
Crosses over, back onto the far side. Rips the shot, she scores! Adrian College is a pinpoint like no other. With our 77 undergraduate degrees, 47 majors, and 21 broad fields of study, Adrian has a one-of-a-kind, hands-on learning experience for everyone. Do you want to visit the campus of Adrian College in person? Visit adrian.edu forward slash campus hyphen visit. Again, that's adrian.edu forward slash campus hyphen visit. Come take in the beautiful facilities at Adrian College for yourself. What if you didn't choose to become an Adrian College Bulldog? Surely you would have carried on with your education and could potentially be graduating elsewhere. But what would you have the honor of greeting Bruiser on campus? Would you have had the privilege of working alongside faculty that know your name? Would you have had the opportunity to learn and grow in an environment that is seeking the truth and dignity in all people? Would you have had a creative learning environment that is supportive of challenging you and achieving excellence in your academics, but also your personal and professional lives? This has been Adrian College's promise to us. Just as our families have promised to love us unconditionally and support us through the many peaks and valleys of our lives, Adrian offered a similar promise to us when they realized our potential by asking us to join them. While we have been busy navigating the many what ifs of our time, none of which we could have imagined, we have indeed found the cane that holds our ribbons of excellence at Adrian to stand strong. Strength and tradition, a tradition that carries on from graduating class to graduating class a symbolic reminder of the leadership carrying the motto, no victory without work. The Adrian College class of 2021 can proudly proclaim that we have earned our ribbon of excellence for persevering through a pandemic because of our hard work. We have to, had to learn how to best navigate the many what ifs in uncharted times. While some of the what ifs have been answered, it is now up to each of us to embrace and navigate on our own. What if I take that job? What if I decide to continue on for postgraduate endeavors? What if I decide this? What if I decide that? No matter what, you'll be able to face your tomorrow knowing that you are a member of a pack, the Adrian College Bulldogs Class of 2021. Part of the family here at Adrian College are the friends we've made. These friends have gone to games with you, shared late night tales with you, explored downtown with you, and joked around with you at Ritchie. They are in the library with you at midnight, studying for the 8 a.m. exam you forgot to study for. And they're there when you cried because you failed that exam. These friends are your new family members now. You will stay in touch with them forever, even if it's just liking their Facebook posts about the new puppy they just got. Parents, family, and friends, we cannot thank you enough for everything you have done for us. Thank you for the support, and the opportunity for this moment to graduate from Adrian College. You have helped us reach our dreams and goals in life. 
Congratulations, class of 2021. We finally made it. Adrian College has once again found itself on the 2022 U.S. News & World Report Best College Rankings. This is the eighth straight year that Adrian has been named to the top regional college's Midwest section. Adrian College was also named the most innovative school in the regional college's Midwest category. In addition, Adrian received accolades and best value in undergraduate teaching within regional college's Midwest. Adrian College was also named in the top first year experiences by U.S. News & World Report. This marks the 13th consecutive year that Adrian has appeared in U.S. News & World Report. To see the full rankings, visit their website. For more information on Adrian College, visit adrian.edu. Adrian College has once again been recognized for its commitment to engaged experiential education by Colleges of Distinction, a one-of-a-kind guide for college-bound students. While higher education has changed over the past 20 years, Colleges of Distinction's selection process has stayed consistent in accepting only those that adhere to the four distinctions, engaged students, great teaching, vibrant community, and successful outcomes. Overlaid in the last few years have been a look into high-impact practices. They believe most critical to the student experience were the kinds of engaging experience that are found at Adrian College. To learn more, please visit adrian.edu. fans connect with Adrian College TV on social media to be updated when we're broadcasting live, to see highlights, plays of the week, and much more. Adrian College Television is on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. ACTV's handle is at Adrian College TV on every form of social media. Thank you for tuning in and subscribing to the home of the Bulldogs, Adrian College TV. Really, really excited to, to get going and uh, to try and lead these guys and try and help them reach their full potential as basketball players, but more importantly as people, as student athletes, and as men when they get out of here. So very excited to get going. Oh, let's play Bulldog basketball! The Adrian College men's basketball program has a new man in charge. Tim Kaiser was announced the new head coach by athletic director Mike Duffy last week, but has been leading the program for several weeks now. After being named acting coach late in the season, Kaiser won his first career game overseeing the team. Anytime you can get any experience is really good. So next year, game one, it won't be game one for me. It'll be game seven. And that's, a, that's a, actually a big thing. And beyond the games, more so the practices, right? Being able to lead the practices. Because if we want to be good on the court, that's the most important thing about what we're going to do. He played at Waynesburg University in Pennsylvania, where he was able to play in basically every role, including coming off the bench and starting as the team captain. Since his playing days, he has served as a graduate assistant at Heidelberg University in Ohio and assistant coach at Muhlenberg College in Pennsylvania. 
That's before he arrived as a Bulldog last fall. All of my experience is in Division Three. That's all I know, and that's what I love. That's what I want to do. That's what I want to be involved in. And I think while, yeah, I'm young, I also think I'm confident. Kaiser and his team have already began their work in recruiting and preparing for next season. He can't wait to take the court with his team in a few short months. I think first and foremost is that we're a connected group at all times. I think that's so important, especially in Division Three, especially in basketball. So number one, that we're really connected, that we love playing together. I think that is the most important thing, is that we really enjoy playing together and sharing in each other's success. Reporting from the Marilot Sport and Fitness Center, I'm Matt Kibbe for Adrian College TV. Welcome back to Arrington Ice Arena for the start of the third period, the final period of regulation. Players and coaches going over their respective game plans before we get the opening face-off drawn to begin this period. Thank you for tuning in to Adrian College Television on YouTube. I'm Trey Matthews, your play-by-play -play announcer. The Adrian College Bulldogs are trailing the Lake Superior State University Lakers by a score of 4-2. to two. It was all tied up to end period number one. Then we saw a lot of goals in the second period of play. So first the Lakers got it going, and they were able to score two unanswered goals, and then the Bulldogs were able to retaliate. Unfortunately, the Bulldogs kind of slipped up a little bit, scored and let uh, the Lakers score another goal. So now here we are. The Lakers are leading the Bulldogs by two goals. But as Johnny Costello, one of my colleagues and also a player on the ACHA men's D3 hockey team once said, two-goal lead is always the worst lead in hockey. So let's just see what's going to happen in this period as the opening faceoff is going to be drawn at center ice and it's going to go to the Adrian College Bulldogs as they're going to play in front of their benches. Now it goes to Stevens. And Taylor and four more have swapped positions once again. Now they're in the normal positions uh, in, in which they did to start the game. Centering try once again goes high at the crossbar and goes below the uh, goal line. So four more is in the north side of the rink, and Taylor is in the south side once again. Now passing it around. Bulldogs able to get a twig on it. Wrestling for the puck. Goes back to the Bulldogs. Bulldogs pass it up ahead. And it's going to go off a skate. And it's going to go over to Formore. As she's just going to tap the puck in front of her. Passing it up to one of her teammates. Cross pass up ahead goes to no man's land. And Taylor's going to tap the puck over to Stevens. Stevens takes control of it. And icing is going to be the call as the Lakers got there in plenty of time. So a minute hasn't been played yet in period number three. So we're going to go back down to the other side of the rink and get ready for the faceoff in the south. So faceoff going to be coming on the glove side of Taylor. Going to be dished off below the goal line, rattles it around. Looking for some sort of daylight. Stevens going to pass it up ahead. It's going to go into neutral zone. Able to corral it, war the Lakers. Taking control of the puck and getting it poke checked away. And it's going to go down the other side of the rink. Bulldogs able to take full grasp of it. Huckster has it. Being swarmed on in by Nadu. Now back over to the point area for the Lakers. It's batted down in front. Clanks it off the boards. Droba is creeping on in, forcing the Lakers to go back into their defensive zone. It goes into neutral zone for Van Antwerp, one of the assistant captains of this team. Bats it off the boards. Droba has scored one of the goals for the Adrian College Bulldogs this afternoon. Passing off into neutral zone. Could be trouble. Two on one. Breaking out. Odd man rush. Let's one fire. Goes off the leg padding and pillowed away by Taylor. Now they're going to take possession of it. Too much traffic in the lane and the puck's momentum died out. And Taylor was able to land onto it. And that's going to pause action. So faceoff going to be coming on the stick side of Taylor. Taylor tries to hit it up ahead. Unfortunately, couldn't get anything on it. And now the Bulldogs are trying to go off and running, but the Lakers' defense was there quickly to greet them. The Bulldogs are going to take control of it in neutral zone. 
dropping it on back to Vanatorp. Vanatorp is just going to just stick it up ahead, and unfortunately, it's going to result in an icing call. So we're going to go back down the other side of the rink for a faceoff. Line change for the Lakers. Bulldogs roster is going to have to stay as is as we're going to get ready for a faceoff after the icing. Seventeen twenty-three remaining in period number three. And it's going to go over to the Adrian College Bulldogs. Now to the Lakers in neutral zone. They're taking it into their own defensive zone. And it's going to go into the southwest corner. It goes below the goal line. Glides it up ahead. Able to pass it up. And the Bulldogs able to barely get a stick on it and just slow down the puck's momentum. Now McLaughlin takes it deep into the zone and can't get a full shot on it. There on the rebound are the Adrian College Bulldogs able to clear it back out to the point area for the Lakers. Trying to swipe it away and creeping on in are the Bulldogs. Bulldogs drop it on back, now passing it up ahead. Lakers lose control of it. And now taking possession of it is Grimm. Now back over to the Lakers as they came hustling down the other side of the rink, but able to bat it away at the last possible second for the Bulldogs was Chase. Puck goes back to the point area for the Lakers in their offensive zone. Rattles the puck around, and it's going to go back into the possession of the Lakers. Traffic is jammed in. Trying to shoot it on in. Does a wraparound attempt. Shut down, tries again. There on the rebound, Bulldogs there. Goes off the leg padding of Taylor. Cross pass up ahead to Jayev. Jayev hits the puck off her skate. Goes back down low. And Olive put a little too much pepper on that biscuit as it went high of the crossbar. And now cross pass. Goes back to the Adrian College Bulldogs. Able to swipe the puck away. Goes back to Stevens. Now back to the Adrian College Bulldogs. Knifing at it. Playing it in neutral zone. Past the blue line. Goes in to the northeast corner. Passing it around. Bulldogs able to knock it on down. However, they're not able to generate much offense as it's going to go back towards the Lakers' way. Five minutes have been played here at Arrington Ice Arena for the start of period number three. Creeping on in, excellent series of moves. Tries to go for the backhander, and it just bobbles off of Taylor. Trying to kick the puck out. And it's going to go back to the Bulldogs. Skating in neutral zone past the blue line, and offsides is the call. Puck handler got a little too antsy. So faceoff is going to come in the gray area in front of the blue line, in front of the penalty box for the Lakers. They're going to kick it on back. Now passing up ahead, it's going to go back to the Adrian College Bulldogs as Taylor warns her team of the icing. Defense got there first. Scarborough with the nice hustle. Alongside Van and Twerp. So we're going to go to the north side of the rink and get ready for a faceoff. Lines will stay as is. Faceoff coming on the glove side of four more. Goes back over to the Lakers. Now back over to Jerry. Jerry goes past the blue line with Flynn. Let's one go, and it goes wide. But back at the point area to regain control of it were the Lakers. They just dump it on down. Shoots it on back. Now back to the point area. Once again, going in on in on the face-off circle. Too much traffic in the lane. And Taylor's going to land onto the puck via her stomach. That's going to freeze action with 13.52 remaining in period number three. So line change for both respective teams.
Faceoff coming in the southeast part of the rink. That's going to go to Adrian College Bulldogs as they look to go on the attack. Being surrounded and hounded by a bunch of Lakers players. And it's going to go back the way of the Lakers as they look to take it down the other side of the rink. They have numbers right now, and they lose possession of the puck. Culberson is able to corral it for the Adrian College Bulldogs. Now back up to the point area for the Lakers. Knocks it on down in front and able to redirect it. Now it goes back to the Lakers once again near the faceoff circle. Now the Bulldogs are able to clear it. Now it goes into neutral zone in the defensive zone for the Lakers as they look to go back onto the attack past the blue line. Makes a series of nice moves. Able to corral the puck, getting pinched. And it's going to go back to the Adrian College Bulldogs as they're able to just knife it on back. Now it goes below the goal line. Not giving up on that play is Flynn. And unfortunately, the physicality is going to result in a penalty, and it's going to be a body checking towards the Adrian College Bulldogs. So get ready for five-on-four hockey. Looks like that's going to go on Sarah Knapp, number 10. So 13.02 remaining in the final period of play. Bulldogs roster shrinks by one once again. And Lakers looking to see what they could do on the power play. Bulldogs have been on a five-on-three situation before, able to get out of that and type rope out of it. Passing it on down. Can't get it through the five hole. Crashing the net. Absolute bedlam and pandemonium in front of Taylor. And she's able to keep her composure and land onto it. 12.47 remaining in period number three. Face off coming in neutral zone. Goes back over to the Lakers. Past the blue line. Coming marching on in off the breadbasket into the catching glove of Taylor. And there's a minute 36 remaining in the penalty for the Adrian College Bulldogs. Line change for both respect respective teams, excuse me. So the Bulldogs just trying to kill the puck. Whereas the Lakers are just trying to capitalize on the man-up advantage. Let's one go at the point area, goes a little too wide. Bulldogs able to clear it, and that's going to kill some time as it goes to the right of four more. Tips it up ahead. Bulldogs swipe it away. Looking for some sort of daylight of opening. 12 minutes remaining in the game. Clanks it off the glass. Holts the puck and just elects to pass it behind her. Now it goes into neutral zone. Just going to dump the puck, and that's going to kill some more time. 50 seconds remaining in the penalty kill for the Adrian College Bulldogs. Bulldogs able to swipe it away. Coming on in is Rogner. And it goes high at the crossbar. It's going to hit the safety netting here at Arrington Ice Arena. So we're going to get a reset with 39 seconds remaining in the power play for the Lakers. 11.40 remaining in the overall final period of regulation. Faceoff going to come on the stick side. Of four more. Rogner lets one go. And unfortunately, it's knocked down in front and goes into the northeast corner. Goes below the goal line. Goes past the blue line, tips it away. Goes below the goal line behind Hannah Taylor. Lakers looking for some sort of opening. Time is winding down on their power play. Excellent block by Rugner. She's going to pass it to her right. And unfortunately, a little bit of a collision and sloppy play right there for the Adrian College Bulldogs as they try to go on the attack. But the Bulldogs are back at full strength. We are back to five-on-five five hockey here at Arrington Ice Arena. Lakers are just going to dump the puck as they're going to go for a line change. Hits it off the boards. Lakers get a stick on it. Goes right back to the possession of the Adrian College Bulldogs.
Bulldogs able to pitch it up ahead. Now goes past the blue line. Wide open, lets one go. Trying to crash the net are the Bulldogs, but unfortunately the Lakers are in the right possible spot. Now the Lakers are off and running, trying to go from end to end, going deep into the zone. And they're able to lose possession of it. Rattling it around at, at the point area. Knocks it on down. He's trying to pass it up ahead. Now it goes into neutral zone for the Lakers. It's going to go to Taylor as she's going to elect to just hold on to it as there are a couple of Lakers players coming to swarm on her on in, in. Pardon me on that last phrase. I apologize. I was trying to say the Lakers players were going to swarm in on her. It's a harder sentence to say, trust me. 10.03 remaining in period number three, halfway done with the final period of regulation. Bulldogs have it below the goal line. Now back over to the Bulldogs as they look to just go back down the other way of the rink and gain some sort of momentum. Time is winding down if they want to make a comeback. Goes into the northeast corner. Pinned along the boards. Looking for some sort of opening. Looking for a player to either get a stick on it or get a skate on it to kick it free. Still jammed, and it's going to go back to the Lakers as they look to take it into their offensive zone in the south part of the rink. Now goes back to the Adrian College Bulldogs as they're just going to dump it on in. Goes back to the Lakers, trying to pitch it up ahead. Gets a stick on it, and it's hit weakly back over to the Bulldogs. Van Antwerp has possession of it, goes behind Taylor. Jams it. Now back over to the Lakers at the point area. Trying to hit it on down. Lakers take control of it, centering try, tries to go back door, but the Bulldogs were able to just knock the puck away at the last possible second. Now back over to the Lakers at the point area, creeping on in, and it's going to be knocked down in front. Pitching it on back to the point area. Wide open opportunity. Now closing on in, goes off the body of Scarborough. Now playing it behind Taylor. Bulldogs looking for just some sort of answer. As there's 8.25 remaining in period number three. Now back over to the Adrian College Bulldogs in neutral zone. Past the blue line. Loses possession of the puck. And it's going to go back to the Lakers as they rattle it around. Bulldogs now have a golden opportunity to probably score. Jabbing at it, and it's going to go back to the Lakers. Lakers pitch it out in front, and it's going to be an icing call as the Bulldogs are going to get there in plenty of time. So we're going to go back to the north side of the rink for a faceoff. 7.55 remaining in period number three. Bulldogs trail the Lakers by a score of 4-2. to two. Face off coming on the glove side of four more. Flicks it on behind. Goes to the Adrian College Bulldogs, going from the northeast corner to the northwest corner. Back over to Culberson. Bulldogs playing in the center position in the slot. Passing up ahead. And it's going to go back to the Adrian College Bulldogs as it's going to pass neutral zone into the Bulldog defensive zone. Able to corral it for them was Chase. Passing it back down, clanks it off the boards. Now the Bulldogs able to get possession of it, but they're going to be swarmed by a bunch of blue and orange jerseys. It's hit on back down to the Adrian College Bulldogs. Pass the blue line. Swarmed on in. Goes back to the Adrian College Bulldogs. They almost turned the puck over as Jerry was coming on in. She scored one of the four goals for the Lakers. Pinned along the boards. 6.45 remaining in the final period of regulation. Goes over to the Bulldogs in neutral zone. Let's one fire, and it's a direct strike at the chest protector for Formore as it lands into her glove. 
So that's going to halt action for just a moment as we have 6.30 remaining in the final period of regulation. For the first time tonight, seems like no team wants to score a goal in this period because each team scored uh, at least once per period. Shots on goal differential, 39 to 23 in favor of the Lakers. Lakers able to take control of it and just ricochet it away. Now the Bulldogs take control of it. That's Graham. Going deep into the zone, below the goal line. Bobbling the puck. And it's going to go back over to the Lakers as they look to take it from end to end. Trying to cross pass it up ahead on the strong pass, but it's going to go back to the Lakers. Bulldogs tried to bother it. Excellent sniper right there, but it goes a little too wide. Lakers take control of the puck now. Now back over to the Lakers in neutral zone as they're going to have to come back and reset with 540 remaining in period number three. They're just going to elect to pass it up to the Bulldogs. Grimm is going to pass it up ahead to Druba. Cross pass into neutral zone. Full speed ahead, loses possession of the puck. And the Bulldogs trying to fish it on out. Goes below the goal line. Ricochets off the back part of the rink. In neutral zone, clanks it off the bench. Now it's going to go to Scarborough as she's going to take it behind Taylor. Snipes it off the boards and it goes back into neutral zone. Bulldogs able to take control of it. Time is winding down. Knifing at the puck. These two teams will be at it tomorrow at 1 p.m. I will be on the call along with Dustin Foy for that matchup. Passing up ahead. Icing is going to be the call. As Culberston got there in plenty of time. Defense got there first for the Adrian College Bulldogs. So no line change for the Lakers. Bulldogs will change up their rotation on this respective line. Now it's going to go back to the Adrian College Bulldogs. Back up to the point area. They lose possession of it. If they get a stick on it, they're going to have to wait for everyone to come back and reset. Lakers came swarming on in. Goes below the goal line. Now they're going to take it behind four more. Once again, Jerry's going to take it below four more, looking for some sort of snip of daylight. Bulldogs just able to jab it on down, and it goes back to the possession of the Lakers. Lakers able to muscle around the boards. They're going to pass it down to the other side of the rink. Looks like no icing will be the call since the Bulldogs, I guess, last touched the puck. Trying to just maneuver it up ahead, and they lose possession of it. Offsides warning is the call. So the Bulldogs get tangled up. 3.33 remaining in the game. Looking for some sort of opening. Can't get it through the five hole on that hammer in. Centering try, looking for some sort of opening. Can't get it right there, but there on the rebound are the Lakers. Hammers it in once again, can't get anything going. They get the rebound once again. Hammers it on in, can't go top shelf. Not well enough located. Let's one fire and it's knocked down in front of Taylor as it goes into the southwest corner. Centering try, Bulldogs have got to get into their offensive zone there were too many attempts on that rebound opportunity for the Lakers, and this could have easily been a 5-2 game. Taking control of it is Mississack. Greeted by a bunch of Bulldogs players. Gets knocked down, and the Bulldogs will take the puck away. Now they're in neutral zone, just looking for some sort of opportunity. Droba loses possession of the puck below the goal line. Takes it behind four more. Knocks it down out front, hit weakly. Now the Lakers are going to pass it up ahead. Zibik. Greeted by the Bulldogs. Excellent series of moves. Tries to go for the backhander, but lost possession of the puck. 
Goes below the goal line once again. Center and try there on the rebound. Can't get it past Taylor on that last possession. Hits it weakly and just goes off the leg padding of Taylor. Can't go top shelf there as it's not hit uh, hard enough and it wasn't well located. Now back over to the point area. Spins it around. Getting a stick on it. Puck is pinned along the boards. We have 90 seconds remaining in this game. And it's going to go out into neutral zone. Passing it up ahead. Taylor is just going to tap it behind her. And it's going to go over to Ramsey. Ramsey clanks it off the boards. Once again, Bulldogs can't seem to get on the attack and get any momentum to go their way. Now cross pass up ahead. Lakers, barring anything catastrophic happening, might be marching to their first win of the season and their first win ever against this Bulldog franchise. As they went 0 for 3 in last season's series of matchups. And like I said in period number two, they've already outscored. Uh, only, they, they were only able to score three goals in all three matchups combined when they played the Adrian College Bulldogs. So 35 seconds remaining. Coming on in are the Lakers. All alone, backhander. And Taylor's able to hold on to it as Flynn slipped up. Twenty-eight point six remaining in period number three. Face-off is going to come on the glove side of Taylor. Less than thirty seconds remaining in this game. Rattles it around. Was Stevens swiped away? Wore the Lakers out in front. Can't do anything right there. Bulldogs looking to just save face at this point and just get maybe one more goal. Time is not on their side. Less than 10 seconds remaining. Puck is pinned, and we're at five seconds. Lakers are just going to hold on to the puck now and just hit it up ahead. Looks like there was a penalty that was about to be assessed, but time is winding down, and it was going to go on the Adrian College Bulldogs. Looks like it was going to be credited to Kristin Culberston. However, she was saved by the horn. As now the clock has hit triple zeros and it is the end of period number three, which means this is the end of this matchup between the Lakers and the Adrian College Bulldogs. So both teams are coming to center ice to shake hands. So period number three, no one was able to get a goal and the final shots on goal differential was 45 to 24 in favor of the Lake Superior State University Lakers. There we go, there's a shake of hands to show good sportsmanship between these two teams. They will be at it in less than 24 hours tomorrow as the, the puck drop is scheduled for 1 p.m. Eastern time. So Jamie Mensner is unable to get her first uh, career win as a head coach, but she'll have another opportunity, like I said, tomorrow. The Bulldogs come to center ice and they're about to salute their fans. So for everyone at ACTV, Thank you for tuning in to Adrian College Television's broadcast of this ACHA Women's D2 matchup between the Lakers and the Bulldogs. We will see you next time. I'm Trey Matthews, your play-by-play -play announcer. Have a good rest of the day, and I will see you real soon. Bulldog fans connect with Adrian College TV on social media to be updated when we're broadcasting live, to see highlights, plays of the week, and much more. Adrian College Television is on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. ACTV's handle is at Adrian College TV on every form of social media. Thank you for tuning in and subscribing to the home of the Bulldogs, Adrian College TV. Welcome to Adrian, Michigan. We're located in a proud college town. Adrian College is situated just 45 minutes from Ann Arbor, Detroit, and Toledo. We're very excited to show you just a little bit of what AC has to offer. 
This is the gateway to our campus. Welcome to the place that we believe will change the rest of your life. AC features one of the most well-rounded educational experiences in the country. We offer over 60 different academic majors and 10 academic institutes, as well as dozens of student organizations. Year after year, we've been ranked as one of the nation's best colleges, including being one of the most innovative institutions in the U.S. for our medical programs. Our campus is simply beautiful. Our student to faculty ratio is an incredible 13 to one. That means more attention for you and a much better overall learning environment. We know how to put together an education that is life changing. And these are just some of the highlights. From our communication arts program, to our many performing arts, to the home of business on campus, to our sciences and medical studies, we have the spaces where you can grow into the professional that you want to become. Our first year student experience is award winning. You'll make lifelong friends here, meet mentors, and maybe even meet that special someone. The Kane Student Center is open 24 hours a day, and there's a lot going on here. The Bulldog Beanery has all of your hot drinks. Pause and Go is our on-campus convenience store. The bookstore is where you'll get all of your Bulldog gear, and you can just hang out and study in the skyboxes. Not far away is the Shipman Library. The Shipman has quiet, relaxing spaces for you to study in. You can check out books from thousands of libraries around the country, and the Shipman is open 24 hours as well for your convenience. There are hundreds of learning opportunities on campus. In addition to the arts and beautiful facilities, Adrian College is known for its athletic programs. There is nothing like a Saturday game day here in Adrian. The Bulldog football team are 11-time MIAA champions. At Docking Stadium, fans watch soccer, lacrosse, football, and more. Just a few hundred yards away, Adrian College's basketball teams compete. In addition to basketball, fans can enjoy wrestling, acro and tumbling, and volleyball here. We also have a state-of-the-art weight room available to all of our students. When things heat up too much on campus, you can cool off with our ice sports. Our NCAA ice hockey teams are constantly battling in the national playoffs. Just a quick walk down the service drive, we feature one of the best baseball and softball programs in the nation at our level. Soon you'll be able to cross the street and watch men's and women's rugby take to the pitch as well. Our rowing, crew, and top-ranked bass fishing programs compete out of the Adrian College Boathouse, a gorgeous facility, just a 15-minute drive north on Devil's Lake. Our students know how to relax in their downtime. When they're not out and about, we have dozens of housing options on campus. With apartments right in the mix of things, you can pick what works best for you. We've also recently renovated a few of our housing options. Adrian College is a Methodist-affiliated institution that has been changing lives since 1859. The modern liberal arts education offered by our faculty is unrivaled. We can't wait to have you on campus and show you around. Visit adrian.edu to schedule a full campus visit today. We'll see you soon. Adrian College Television would like to give a big thank you to our sponsor, Carlton Lodge of Adrian. Carlton Lodge is sponsoring all ACTV broadcasts during the 2021 to 2022 school year. Located at 1629 West Maumee and Adrian, Carlton Lodge offers comfortable rooms and suites at affordable rates. There's also a heated indoor and outdoor pool along with a 24 hour fitness center. Thank you for the continued support toward Adrian College Television.